This is a photograph of Leslie Lemke. He was born in 1952, a victim of multiple severe birth defects that included eye disease, cerebral palsy, and extensive infant brain damage. His retinal damage was so severe that it necessitated the removal of his eyes shortly after birth. And his prognosis was so grim that his despairing birth mother gave him up for adoption. At six months, he was adopted by a compassionate nurse by the name of May Lemke. But for the first seven years of his life, Leslie barely moved and uttered no sounds at all. He was unable to stand until age 12 and unable to walk until age 15. But at age 16, May Lemke was awakened in the middle of the night to the sounds of their old piano being played. She discovered Leslie at the piano, playing a near-perfect version of Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto No. 1. He had heard the musical piece, he had heard it, but he had heard it just once as a soundtrack to a TV movie that he could not see. Now, he had likely pounded some piano keys before as kind of a therapy tool, but he had very limited exposure to anyone actually playing the piano, and certainly never for a musical piece so complicated. Leslie was able to duplicate this incredible transference many times with different musical compositions in various public settings. His ability to totally assimilate a complex musical piece from a single listening is only overshadowed by his instant ability to actually perform that piece on an instrument that he never learned to play. How did he acquire this unique ability without instruction or practice? 